Well, it's Captain Larry. It's the uh, 5th of January. Not that it matters. So what I got here is a 12-volt uh, permanent magnet motor that I pulled out of a little battery-powered lawnmower, I don't know, 20 or 30 years ago. And it's been sitting around here ever since. And uh, I got the idea that this thing might make a uh, nice little electric starter for the uh, the Cushman and if I could get the gearing right it would work as a uh, generator as well but uh, the main thing is to see if it will work as a, as a starter so I decided that I would uh, uh, take it apart uh, and uh, give it a little inspection and lubrication and here we can see that it's got a, a flat commutator rather than uh, a round one, uh, radial instead of axial, and that means it can run equally well in either direction. So uh, <laughs> it was worth taking it apart just to find that out. Oh look, and I've dropped one of my screws on the ground already, I think. Or one of my uh, springs. Yep. Oh boy, well, the power's off. I'm going to have a lot of fun finding it. But anyway, there's, uh, there's the brushes, a uh, simple little bronze uh, uh, bushing on the, uh, on the brush end of the thing. I assume it's got a, uh, a large bearing up here in the front. Uh, this is a non-tapered shaft. Uh, looks like uh, it's either uh, 17 millimeters or 11 sixteenths in diameter. Uh, it's got a little eighth inch keyway in it. And uh, the shaft itself is... Uh, is threaded because it had a uh, it had a mower blade sticking on there with a uh, uh, you know a nut in the washer holding it on so uh, the way it's uh, uh, wired here I uh, just using the polarity of the way it came out of the mower it uh, rotates clockwise so if it's mounted like this uh, behind a Cushman engine uh, it'll turn that way and uh, with a V-belt to the uh, the uh, old uh, generator V-belt that's uh, left over on all those clutches, uh, it might start. <laughs> we'll see if it's got enough, uh, uh, enough torque and power to do it. It's not really a high-speed motor. Uh, it's uh, marked 12 volts. And uh, so when I uh, cook it up to uh, a... Uh, 12 volt battery, I, you know, I'm estimating the RPM is uh, a few hundred at most. And uh, so I think it's got oodles of torque. And uh, being a permanent magnet motor, if you spin it, it will uh, generate uh, voltage. Uh, who knows, uh, uh, you know, unregulated for sure. But it shouldn't be too hard to make this guy work uh, at least as a uh, as a starter and it ain't too big there's my hand so the thing is maybe maybe eight inches long and uh, less than four inches in diameter three and a half inches in diameter maybe and pretty beefy so I'm going to uh, I've cleaned the commutator um, hasn't been used much uh, it's not worn down um, I'll uh, just uh, stick some uh, some grease on the on that bushing and uh, put the brushes back together and uh, I'll see if I can get a look at the bearing in the front of it and uh, see what it is. It's a little noisy running and I had a feeling maybe that bearing in the front uh, uh, was kind of copy. So anyway there's my little project.